guys welcome back to my channel so today's video i've been wanting to do this video i just didn't know when i would want to do it and film it but today's video is going to be a new year's eve slash day whichever day you want to use it but most likely eve makeup tutorial because i was like you know what i have done a thanksgiving i have done a christmas one i have to do a new year's eve one and i was thinking to myself what kind of video can i do and what kind of look could i do that would be easy for enough Easy enough for anybody to use it so I was like hmm I did see this picture I'm gonna post it right here and it was a picture of Katy Perry and I had seen the bedazzle things on the lid and I was like that is really cute and I feel like anybody can go to the store like the craft store and get these little things to kind of stick them on to their eyes and then I was thinking what about a really nice wing liner and smoky bottom lid for this look so I was just like you know what I'm gonna do that that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a really nice simple look like that it's simple but like easy you know like you know you know i will i could have done like a silver lid and all like smoky eye and everything like that but honestly i have done that already so i'm gonna go ahead and do that for you guys today let me know in the comments below what kind of look do you guys like um for new year's eve i know some people just really like that simple look but some people like the glam so I was like, you know what, let's kind of bring it in between somehow. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel and you guys are watching this video, go ahead and please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me if you join my little bam bam. Um, it's slowly growing and it makes me so happy. Thank you guys so much. And if you guys already had seen my last video, which is like a recap of my 2019, you guys are the best. I know I got a little sad there and I cried a bit, but I'm sorry. I just, it was a really hard video to do and edit it means a lot to me that you guys are commenting your guys's life and everything because you know what you don't know what happens behind the screen and you don't know what happens to people's lives you know so i was like it really was like an eye opener and like it just realized that like er not everyone is having it easy so thank you guys so much for watching that video so let's just go ahead and get started now i'm gonna keep rambling so that's just let's just stop okay so i went on and i already put moisturizer on my face and i used the milk makeup vegan moisturizer this is what i used now i'm gonna go in with my milk makeup hydro Grip primer this is gonna be under my foundation so we're gonna go ahead and use it i use this a lot and i already have a backup one because you know what it is a good primer if you guys have not tried it and especially your dry skin oh my god you need this primer so we're gonna go ahead and apply this on the face it is like so sticky and i love it it's like tacky but in a good way you know so now that i have that done i'm gonna go ahead and use my fenty pro filter foundation i'm in the shade 260 and we're gonna be using this foundation today and we're gonna go ahead and apply this all over the face um because oh my god you guys this foundation i don't know if it matches me perfectly but i feel like it's good enough you know so we're gonna go ahead and bounce this you guys i really do like this sponge it doesn't soak up as much product as let me show you guys um i would use this sponge before and i got this one at target i would use that one and it would soak up so much product and i didn't realize it until i used this one so this is the juno co sponge and it is amazing i feel like i sound really weird right now but it is amazing you guys i am blown away with this product okay now that the foundation is on i'm gonna go in with this Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer. I am in the shade 4NN. So we're going to go ahead and apply this on the bottom. Right over here. You guys, let me know what you guys got for Christmas in the comment section. I wanted to show you guys what I got, but I honestly didn't get that many things. So I'm like, I can't really do a video of all the things that I got because it's like not even a lot. So like it's a pointless video to do. But um, I got really cute stuff. I got like these little socks right here. Super, super cute from Old Navy. I also got some glasses from Michael Kors. that I have never owned glasses like that. I was like amazed when I got it. I was like, oh my god. Like, I tend to not really care about like designer stuff. It's just not me. Um, maybe because I've never owned it. So I was like really, really happy when I got it though. Because I was like, oh, this is really, really cute. Like, I... And they're actually really, really pretty. I think they look better on than off. Like, when I, they're, like, off like that, I'm like, oh, they're pretty decent. But when I put them on, I'm like, oh, I really, really do like them. But, yeah, I'll show you guys how they look. They look like this. I just don't want to dirty them with um, foundation. But it is like this. 
they're super super cute i'm telling you guys they don't look that cute like out here but when you put them on they are really really cute i just can't put them on now because i have concealer and foundation in my hand and now that the concealer is there i'm gonna go ahead and set it with my laura mercier i can't say that word we're gonna go ahead and set this under right here with the sponge i'm gonna go ahead i'm basically doing like a really nice full coverage makeup right here like i did put a lot of foundation and i regret it but we're gonna go ahead and just go with the flow and just set everywhere around here we're not gonna set the whole whole face so much because it is a fenty um foundation and it's supposed to be like a matte foundation so we're just setting any areas where we put the concealer because that is where we need to put it okay so for my brows i am gonna be going in with my Nancy beverly hills brow definer this is in the shade dark brown so we're gonna go ahead and shade our brows i usually like the brow wiz so that is the one that i go with but since i ran out of that one we're gonna go in with the brow definer um we're gonna go ahead and shade it right here i need to take on my brows a bit but i've been liking like a big bigger brow like a fluffier brow i feel like i don't know i just really like that so we're gonna go ahead and shade this in i normally don't do my brows on camera as you guys know if you guys see my videos i always do them off camera but i'll just do it on camera today so you guys can see how i do it i normally don't show you guys because i feel like it's boring and i feel like everyone's brows are different so are you guys have you guys seen the season of season two of you i have not seen it yet and like i am gonna see it soon because i keep seeing things on twitter and i am very confused of what's going on especially the ending oh my god if you guys have seen it go ahead and leave me, leave me in the comments below your thoughts on it don't ruin it for me just let me know your thoughts on it because i really want to know what's up with it like was it it's it a bad season what what's going on is the first season better than the second season let me know in the comments below because i am so confused i don't even want to ask anybody on twitter because i don't want it to get ruined so i try not to see so much of it but lucky enough like so far no one has killed it on twitter for me which is good and that makes me happy because i was like oh my god hopefully they don't kill it because i do not want them to kill it for me now that that's done my brows are done i did the other one off camera i'm gonna go in with this urban decay threesome palette i really like it because it has everything i need here so if you're trying to do like a really fast look and you're basically traveling somewhere it's really easy to take so i'm gonna go in with this um and i'm gonna be using this bronzer and we're gonna be using this bronzer to contour and bronze the face as well and we're just gonna be using it under the cheekbones I like using it right here under the cheekbones and then bringing it over here on top of the forehead and on the temple just to kind of give my face like a bit more shape on this side because I feel like I have enough here. It's just the top part where I feel like I don't have enough shape. So we're going to go ahead and give my face some shape and we're going to go ahead and just bronze and I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other side as well. And I kind of really want to have like some really nice rosy cheeks to be honest. I've been loving a lot of blush on myself and bronzer so we're gonna be doing that especially in the night because i feel like in the night um you won't really see your makeup so much especially if it's like dark and stuff so you want it to stand out a bit more and that's just my taste right now lately i'm pretty sure next year i'm gonna get over it but so far by the end of this year blush is like my favorite thing to do i'm gonna go in with blush and i'm gonna be going in with this one it's kind of like pinkish um corally so we're gonna go ahead and just put that on top of the bronzer i like to kind of shove it in right here oh my god my brush is breaking is my brush breaking right now on me <gasps> it broke oh my god okay we're just gonna shove it back in there i like putting it on top of the bronzer and then bringing it back to my temple it like lifts up my face a bit more you guys don't have to i'm like talking here about my face but i just want to tell you guys one thing you guys don't have to do your face first before your eyes if you're feel if you feel more comfortable doing your eyes before your face you can go ahead and do that i just tend to always do this first instead of my eyes depending how i feel in the mood you know but lately i have been doing this first now that that's done i'm gonna do the highlighter towards the end so we're gonna go ahead and focus on the eyes now because it is needed to do because yes yeah, well i think that's what you guys are here for you guys are not here for my face you guys are here for the eyes so that is what i'm gonna show you right now so for my eyes, I am going to be using this Urban Decay Eye Primer because I don't want it to have so much color because I'm not going to put that much color on my lid. So it's not really important to put like a bright 
or like a really strong primer to like get colors i don't know if i'm making any sense but you get me anything that's just kind of neutral we don't need something too dark right now um we're gonna go ahead and just prime the lid and then i'm gonna go in with um a really light color just to kind of wash it off so it doesn't look too weird we're gonna go ahead and just do this right now so i have decided that i'm gonna go in with the shade ranch from the conspiracy palette i'm gonna be using that one to kind of put this all over the lid because I kind of want it to be like very nice and shimmery because I do want to put these little gemstones right here, these silver ones. We're going to go ahead and put that all over the lid, but we're just going to go ahead and just blend this all over so it doesn't look too harsh. I know it looks crazy right now, but I'm going to blend it all out and we're going to be tapping that onto the lid as well and just kind of blending that out. Nothing too, too crazy, you know, but just enough where you can get some shine to the lid. No, it looks crazy, guys, but trust me, once I put the bling bling on there, it's going to look better. And it's going to be very smoky and wingy here. So it's going to all come together, guys. Don't worry. Something like this. I know it looks crazy, guys. You guys don't have to do this. You guys can literally just go with a blank canvas. But I just really wanted to do something like this white. Next, I am going to go in with my House Laboratories eyeliner. And we're going to go ahead and create a wing liner. Like so. And just bring it down. It's going to be pretty big. You guys don't have to do it this big. But I feel like I have a pretty lid. I have a pretty big lid. So I'm going to go ahead and do a really big wing liner. Put it down right here. And then color it in. I love this eyeliner so freaking much. It is so good. I just love it so so much now that the wing liner is done I know it's humongous you guys don't have to do it this big I'm gonna go in with these little bedazzle uh, we're gonna go ahead and apply this on to the lid and if you feel like it needs to stick a little bit more you guys can go ahead and use like the lash glue you guys can go ahead and use that you can go ahead and use your finger but for right now I am gonna be using little tweezers that I have and we're gonna be applying it to the eye you guys don't have to put so many but we're gonna go ahead and apply it to the eye like that and we're gonna start putting that all over i'm gonna not use so much of the little ones because i do want to use the other ones for my other eye so we're gonna go ahead and use some of the big ones that i have here you can go ahead and get a pack where it has a bunch i don't have a lot right now on me so we're gonna just kind of do this and just apply it anywhere we want them to be and just create this moment. Oh my god, these are so freaking big. I applied it. I didn't end up applying it here because my lid kind of folds there. So I applied a lot of them up here. I would suggest you guys try the smaller ones because these big ones, I didn't have enough of the little ones. I thought I did. But um, I would suggest you guys, instead of using these this size, we're going to go in with those little small ones. And you guys can put that all over the lid. And you guys could even put more. But I'm just going to keep this like this. I know it looks crazy. I said I was going to be simple. But it looks really dramatic now. But since I don't have enough of here, I'm going to go in with this again. This Makeup Revolution um, glitter eyeliner that I have here. And we're going to be applying this glitter all over the lid so it can kind of give me that shine that i'm like looking for so we're gonna go ahead and apply it here we're gonna kind of apply it all over the lid where there's no jewels there do you see how it kind of gives me that glittery vibe that i was looking for we're gonna go ahead and just do that now that that's done i'm gonna go ahead and apply a lash and sun mascara for right now so for my lashes i really just love these baddie b lashes i know i've been using these a lot so i'm going to continue to do that because i just really like it and it's just a lash that i will basically go with whenever there's like an event or a party because i just really really love it so we're going to go ahead and apply some mascara right now i'm going to go in with my milk makeup kush mascara on bottom and top lashes but the bottom lashes i'm not going to do them yet because i still want to do like a smoky eye here so we're gonna go ahead and just apply the mascara and then next i am gonna go in with the baddie beat lashes this is in style baddie i only own this one pair so i'm sorry if i keep using the same pair but i only own this one so we're gonna go ahead and apply this lash with my duo glue that i have here okay, now that the lash is on i know it looks really really crazy because i have one eye done i'm gonna go in with my unnecessary beverly hills dark side waterproof gel liner 
this is black we're gonna go ahead and apply this onto the water line right over here to kind of make it very very smoky down here and connect it to the wing liner i'm gonna go ahead and get this little pencil brush and we're gonna go ahead and buff the gel liner a little bit so it doesn't look too harsh and we're just gonna go ahead and buff it out and blend it out like this oh my god i look like a cat so i just realized that i didn't put um, eyeliner into the inner corner so that's what i'm going to be doing with the house lavatory we're going to go ahead and just connect it i'm going to just kind of create that wing liner oh my god guys this is really really pretty okay so now that this eye is done i'm going to go ahead and finish it off with the kush mascara we're going to go ahead and apply it to the bottom lashes you guys i did not know i knew what i was gonna do but you know what this became a little bit more dramatic than i wanted it to be like i had this vision i just didn't think these were gonna be so big i was hoping that they were gonna be this tiny but they weren't but i think it's gonna be good i feel like if you guys just get the small ones i feel like you guys can get this look as well just make sure you guys get the little tiny ones because you guys don't need this big one unless you have a big lid like i do but I would recommend getting the little tiny ones because you guys don't need all of this. But yeah, this is one look so far. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I finished both of the eyes. Honestly, I actually do really like it. Like I said, I do recommend getting the little tiny ones like that you can put more and like be more like simple instead of so bold and putting these really huge ones. So now we're going to go on and we'll win lips. So I was thinking more of a brown for my color hair right now that I have going on. I was thinking a bit more brownie color, but then I was like, oh, I feel like it's just so much in the eyes. So maybe I, what if I just put like a lip liner and some gloss? So that is what I'm going to be doing. And like I said, I always love to use my house lavatories, RIP lip liner and rule. So we're going to be using this one. I use it all the time. And we're going to go in with this wet cherry gloss that I have here from Lime Crime. So we're going to go ahead and line our lips. do want it to be a little bit more lighter in the middle of the lid in the middle of the lip so we're gonna go in with the rip lip liner from house laboratories again and this is an end point and it's like a really light nude one so you're gonna go ahead and over this we're gonna go just go ahead and fill it up a bit and make it a little bit lighter we're gonna go in with some gloss on top this gloss i love it so much you guys i use this all the time and it smells so good so we're going to go ahead and apply this. Perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. So now we're going to go ahead and spray our face with some Urban Decay. We're going to go ahead and set the face. And we're going to just do this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below of the look so far. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of the jewels? Do you guys think it's a bit too big? I get it. If it's too big, you can tell me in the comments below. Um, I would say use the little tiny ones like this tiny right here. This is really, really tiny. I feel like that one will be perfect. You can find these at the craft store. So if you guys are interested in doing this look, you guys can. And it's really easy. Think about it. If I take off this, it's just literally a wing liner with some eyeliner. So I really, really like it. I'm going to go in with the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezi highlighter. As you guys know, I always use this highlighter we're gonna go ahead and grab a highlighter brush and we're gonna highlight the face now that i set my face with the urban decay all nighter setting spray we're gonna go ahead and set the face this is so pretty first i was honestly i'm not gonna lie i was kind of doubting myself I'm like oh should i just like start all over or should i just continue and maybe over like fall into place and actually i am happy that i kind of continued because i really like the way the look is it's really really pretty okay guys so this is the final look what do you guys think let me know in the comments below what do you guys try this look do you guys just think it's too much it's not for you or just in general if you guys like this look go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave it in the comments below what kind of look are you guys going to be rocking for the new year's eve and also comment down below 
what are you looking for for 2020 what are your goals what do you what is something that you wish you can accomplish for 2020 let them know in the comments below like that we can share it all together and we can talk about them thank you guys so much for watching this video I just want to say this is my last video of 2020 so i hope you guys enjoy it thank you guys so much you guys were the best to me this year thank you guys for those who have subscribed and joined my family this year i can't wait for those who join next year thank you guys from the bottom of my heart if you guys are not following me on instagram and twitter go ahead and follow me there i'm always posting there and if you guys are not subscribed go ahead and subscribe and join the fam thank you guys so much and happy new year and I love you guys so much and happy holidays. See you guys next time.